uh, people thought that I was going to be the first tennis pro or the first African American, but I'm actually the first <laughs> uh, vegan uh, uh, to be uh, president of the American College of Cardiology. As it turns out, um, there's really widespread recognition. I think that uh, there's almost no one in the organization who had not heard of Dean Ornish or had seen Ornish versus Atkins, or they had some idea about it. And there's a, a general acceptance that more plant-based nutrition would be healthier than the sort of thing that uh, uh, is on in the American diet. I think uh, we've captured the American population uh, with the you know the the big sort of um, uh, opposites. Uh, I think they're very effective. There's a gentleman who was running the uh, heart attack grill, or uh, you've probably heard about that one, right? And uh, he's very pointed about how he used to be in the healthcare arena, and he realized that people weren't listening, so he just went the opposite way to make a point. And uh, everyone is sort of appalled at this, and then they hear about the spokesperson for that dying, okay, of heart disease. And uh, they, they recognize that there really is a relationship between diet. Every, everyone knows it. The question is, what are you going to do about it? And how far are you personally willing to go? And so what I have found with the American College of Cardiology, because of our role uh, in trying to improve heart health, is widespread acceptance. And every person I meet is uh, and have a discussion about this is interested in trying to improve their own diet to some degree. Uh, when you know the, the president is, has the privilege of putting on events, um, you know, such as the executive committee will come to Rush University for a meeting, and all the food will be plant-based nutrition, or I'll take out the executive com committee to a restaurant, all plant-based nutrition. They love it, and uh, and they feel better about the fact that they're able to to do something healthy for themselves as well as uh, pass this knowledge to their patients. So, I you know I wasn't too concerned about it because I'd been with uh, uh, the college for a while as a board member, and I understood how altruistic most physicians, partic particularly physician leaders, uh, really are, and. Um, I, uh, but I am surprised that uh, uh, I, that I've gotten uh, as such widespread acceptance uh, of the of the principles behind and trying to eat healthy. And you know, the question is that uh, that I think we need to to really address is how can we move the needle to go even further uh, than most people are, are are doing right now. We still have a lot of our members who will um, go ahead and say, okay. I'm going out for a steak dinner. I'm going to take a dose of uh, of a statin, and uh, I hear that from my friends, and I say, well, suppose we just substitute them both, <laughs> okay? You know, you know, you can take uh, you know a, a veggie steak instead, and then you won't have to take the pill.